Hi Aries, this is your reading, your romance reading for July 2020. And welcome back. I hope you enjoy the reading and you came in uh, with only, uh, with, with Pisces, you equal, you both had 16 likes. Thank you very much for your likes and share. If you would like to become number one, to be the first zodiac sign to receive your romance reading next month, then keep those likes coming. I appreciate them. And this is my showing my appreciation for your likes and shares. And welcome to my uh, to new viewers and please subscribe and hit the bell on all as I also go live. We have a cyber family and my thank you very much to all my faithful followers, the cyber angels. If you would like to become a cyber angel, then join us in the life. I go live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And I uh, give away free cards and I answer questions that are supported by a donation. If you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading, and um, uh, an extensive personal reading, then uh, look below the video there you can find the information or look at the top right hand corner you will find a white circle click on that and that will take you to the website there you can see the different types of readings on offer I'm doing my nine card spread again this is what I also do in my extensive readings um, but I use um, it differently than I do here. I'll obviously, I will go deeper into uh, depth um, in a one-to-one -one reading. This is a, a general reading and I use them, but you can use this in so many ways to get an answer. This time I'm going to use the center card as the querent card or the overall energy and week 1, 2, 3 and 4. The corner cards are clarifying cards of the cards around it or the cards around the corner card clarify. You can use them vice versa. Then I've got the angel romance deck, the surrender deck as advice and an answer from the angels. Remember this is a general reading, take from it what you can and if it doesn't resonate with you then look at your moon sign or your rising sign. The first card is the Eight of Pentacles. You, somebody's, um, give, um, you've got recognition, somebody's got an eye on you. Well, since it is a pentacle, I would say it could be an earth sign. Let's see what else um, um, which people, uh, other people are in your reading. Well, you've got the Page of Swords, you've got the Magician, and you've got the Knight of Cups, and you've got the Empress. I'll do that before I go into the card. The Page of Swords, that could be a Gemini, could be a Libra, or an Aquarium, uh, Aries. And the Magician is Aries, that could be you, or you could be meeting somebody, um, uh, or a Gemini. Then we have the Knight of Cups, that's Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, and then we have the Empress, which is a Libra. Those are the people within your reading, so there you go. Well, week one is the Page of Swords. That means that you will be getting news. This could be of your uh, partner or a potential partner. Somebody might invite you out to dinner or to go out and spend time or see ho how you are doing. This could go through text message, email or a phone call. Cyber news. They, they will, somebody might let you know how much they love you because you are in their mind and you might have been working towards something to get somebody's attention and you've got the recognition so there you go mm. in the second week there will be magic magic is in the air in other words you can say love is in the air it has become clear to you who it is as the swords stand for clarity honesty communication 
and wisdom and justice. So, it will become clear to you who has an eye on you. This could be, like I said, a Gemini or um, um, an, an other Aries. But you will be in your element in the second week. Now, you could also get an offer. This means you could get a proposal or an other sort of offer of love or passion. This could come from a Cancer, Scorpio or a Pisces. Wow, that is magic. Love is in the air, big time. Look, you've got love here. That's the cups. The cups stand for love, passion, nurturing, caring, sensuality and sexuality. So, definitely, there is a lot of action and swiftness movement in the air. And you have also got Libra. Libra and Gemini are prominent in your reading as they have appeared as the page and the magician and the empress. Empress stands for fertility. So the ground is fertile for a new love if you're not hooked up. If you are hooked up then it could mean it is a fertile ground to become pregnant. If you don't want to become pregnant then take precautions. If you do then it will be um, possible that you could be getting pregnant in the fourth week at the end of the month beginning of August. Okay and um, I'm getting also to hear if you're not getting pregnant at the end of the month don't give up hope if that is what you really really wish because it could also happen at the end of September okay the end of September around the 20th 21st till the 20th of October don't worry something will grow perhaps you might you've just met somebody because you weren't hooked up you've just met somebody and this relationship <coughs> is here to grow so long you nurture it as the Empress stands for Mother Earth and she nurtures everything and she makes it grow and lets it blossom come to blossoming and then she will harvest the fruit so nurture this new relationship that's coming in that is being offered to you if you take it is up to you it is something that will last it will grow it will take time to grow okay um, if you are hooked up like I said you um, perhaps your relationship is growing steadily and securely beautiful news and perhaps you're ready for the next step and that's becoming a mother or a father we also have the stalks so that means birth birth of a child or birth of a new project perhaps the new project is moving home extending going to a bigger house so that you can start a family 360 degrees turn round in a situation or a question that you have okay new beginnings beautiful moving home as well that's why I said you might be moving home so that you can start the extending the family that's a beautiful that could be the news the news that you have the mortgage and, and you have recognition that you are the person for this home beautiful then you have in the second corner the key the key you hold the key to open that door to new possibilities as it is lying underneath the empress and she stands for birthing new beginnings so yes you can open the door to new beautiful fertile things make things grow nurturing it wow big time you can open that door don't be scared you can close the door like you s I said you are standing in your power if there is an offer made to you and you don't want it then you can close that door on that potential relationship if you're not hooked hooked up if you are hooked up then uh, 
you can uh, open the door to a new phase in your relationship. Remember, all our relationships and friendships have up and down moments. Sometimes, um, you the best. Um, what am I, I'm going to say this. The the strongest relationships are relationships that are are also friendships because relationships are built from uh, on proper foundations that last are good friendships as well you're the soulmate you're the buddy okay and hopefully for the rest of your life so in order to move on we have to open doors and sometimes we have to close doors on specific things like if something doesn't work we have to close the door on that move on and try to twig it and be creative so the relationship will stay fresh and exciting and new even after 25 years of being together married or not well, sometimes a relationships uh, feel that they're getting stale and then we have to do something in order to make it exciting again whoopee <laughs> So we are in our own power to take charge and make the choices. You might be getting a visitor. If you're not hooked up, then somebody might come in to visit you. That fancies you. Okay. You might have known them already a couple of months, weeks, years. And finally, they are seeing you in a different light because magic is in the air. Love is in the air or you might go and visit somebody else. Again, the rider means news. You have three cards of news. So something is going to change. The news uh, will change your perspective in things. You might have thought, right, I'm going to close that door. I don't want to go out with that person or get connected with that person. And your perspective might change you might have learned how to change as the eight of pentacles means hard work or a new study you might have mm, mm, learned how to love yourself a little bit more and make yourself more attractive like the empress and that is your magic and now you are getting recognition from a lot of suitors and you have opened that door so you are attracting um, people's attention so you could be hearing from a lot of people one two three okay be careful there could be this is a warning card this is a red flag card be careful of the snake in the grass be careful of a smooth talker don't believe every single word and it's just about the magician okay so be careful if you're not hooked up of smooth talking people they're a slithery okay they are making illusions they are going to make they might seem to make things look better than what they really are listen to your gut feeling okay don't let any pull anybody pull the wall over your eyes you have all the elements within you you are strong enough to make the right decision so be your own magician make the magic happen you take the decision on what you want okay now for some of you that aren't hooked up yet in the official way the first step is here engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment there you go. And there. The surrender card is uh, uh, surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Yes, like I said, you might have been working on yourself and you are beautiful and attractive. And realizing this, you have the magic. And you've done the magic, you've opened that door. Look at that. Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself let go of limiting ideas about yourself that all originate from the past they can own your then you can own your power and soar in your life 
if you're not hooked up remain positive and even if you like I said if you've been together for 25 years we have our ups and downs we change we grow okay we learn so throw away what is of no use to you if you've been working on yourself and done the magic then there is a new you a refreshing you so remain positive so believe in yourself believe that uh, the persons if you're hooked up that the person that you love will see the new you and will love you for who you are because the the parts of the old you are the base and you've just brought out new things perhaps you've become more active perhaps you have started to keep fit and you didn't do that before so that's a new you because your partner does it now you can do it together that is growing with your love that is being part of a soulmate I really enjoyed this reading it's short but it's strong it definitely has a strong message something beautiful is going to happen new beginnings there's lot and there's enough confirmation here you hold the key but be careful of the snake in the grass I hope you have a beautiful month Aries take care and God bless and I hope to see you in the life and if you want to be the first zodiac to receive your romance reading or your weekly reading then keep on clicking on those thumbs the like button love you all take care my cyber angels and I hope to meet the new viewers in the life ciao ciao and if not I'll see you in the next video